Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. A couple of things I want to share with you guys. First, over here at the Ghost 16, in case you guys have noticed these strange anomalies showing up on the satellite feed, I want to share with you what I've learned over the years as to what those might be. They're showing up on multiple satellite feeds. Also, in this video, we're going out here to the desert southwest. I received some video footage from Stacy, who was flying from Fresno, California to Las Vegas, Nevada, looked out the window of an airplane and saw that out in the desert. I'm going to show you what that is on Google Earth. Pretty cool. Also in this video, I wanted to mention the two earthquakes in the last 24 hours, a 6.5 off the coast of Nicaragua, coming in at 19 miles deep, a rare 5.9 in southern Australia, deep southeastern Australia, saying it's located in Mount Buller, Australia at 6.2 miles deep. Very shallow 5.9 earthquake down in southern Australia. Over here at the website, looking at the global seismographs, and you can see both of those earthquakes did appear on most of the seismographs around the world. The 5.9 and the 6.5 off the coast of Nicaragua. Coming over here to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano, they too picked up the large earthquakes over here at the seismograph. Sometimes that happens when there's a big earthquake somewhere else in the world. The primary waves will be picked up at the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. And that's what we see here with those red vertical lines. Those are the larger earthquakes. The dark blue, magma intrusion. We've been seeing that now for the last several weeks. I want to come back now to the, the GO-16 satellite. I use this every day, have for many, many years. And it took me a while to figure out what was going on when I first noticed these anomalies showing up over here. Not only on this satellite feed, but you can find them on multiple satellite feeds as well especially of the full disc you can see something right there see that anomaly there and then over here and you can see the goes east full disc they're showing up here goes east abi full disc they're showing up here notice the termination line that's the the line where darkness meets daylight it's vertical just like it's supposed to be looking at the himawari you can see anomalies over here at the himawari that right down there at the bottom was the the full moon check this out we'll slow it down and we'll look at the full moon down here at the seven o'clock position sometimes it shows up on the satellite feed not only as a full moon but you'll see many different phases of the moon on here every once in a while it'll show up and sometimes as you'll notice down here at the eight o'clock position the moon will show up especially the full moon and that's what we're seeing right down there at the eight o'clock position that's the full moon that's not necessarily an anomaly that shows up from time to time these definitely are what i've learned over the years is it's got something to do with the position of the sun Everything's about the sun angle anyway, and I guess this is no different. When the sun is right on the equator, like it is basically right now, we just entered autumn on September 21st, and the sun is directly on the equator. And you can see the position of the sun right there. See the bright spot moving across the globe? And here it comes. There it goes. You just follow the bright spot. That's the position of the sun. It's the sun angle right now. There it is. It's coming right across Ecuador. Ecuador sits right on the equator, and that's where the sun angle is at. So if you see that and you're wondering why that's going on, just know it has something to do with the position of the sun this time of year. It'll happen again March 21st. Now the sun's going to slowly drift south until December 21st, and it will stop down here at the 23.5, and then it'll start making its way back towards the north. And then March 21st, it will be back at the equator, and then June 21st, it will be way up near the Sahara Desert once again, and hurricane season will begin in the northern hemisphere. All about that sun angle. And there's the, the moon on this one. And if you'll notice, the termination line this time of year is vertical. When the sun is at the equator, that line is perfectly straight. When the sun is in solstice position, uh, that would be December 21st and June 21st, the termination line will be at an angle going one direction or the other. March 21st and September 21st, it's always perpendicular. And that's one easy way you can tell if the sun angle is in the right place at the right time of the year. So that's what's causing that anomaly. That's something that I've noticed over the years. Equinoxes cause this anomaly for reasons unknown. I want to take you guys now out to the desert southwest. This video footage was shared with me by Stacy. I do have an explanation for this, but I want to share the, the video footage that she shared with me. Here it goes. That is weird.
Gotta admit, that's really bright. It's so bright. There is nothing else out here that is that bright. And it's in the daytime. And it's in the daytime. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, no, that's just the sunspots, I guess. Oh, I don't know what that is. No, those are some... Almost looks like it has wings. What that is is something on the ground out here in the desert, about 200 miles from their location. I'm going to fast forward the video and show you guys what I found on Google Earth in that location. Once again, she was flying from here to here. The airplane was right about in this area, and they were looking north just around 200 miles. So here's what that was, just in case you ever see it again, just an educational video. I found this on Google Earth. That is a very large solar farm, but it's not the solar panels that are lit up in this particular case. There's a tower in the middle of all of these solar panels that for some reason is extremely bright. And there it is right there. That's what they were seeing from the airplane at around 30,000 feet looking down at the desert floor. Those solar panels, that tower in the middle of the solar panels is extremely bright. It looks as bright as the sun because it is as bright as the sun. It is reflecting direct sunlight. So I wanna take you guys to Google Earth. We're gonna to go to that location. I actually found that very bright light on Google Earth. Okay, check this out. She was flying from Fresno to Las Vegas. Go right up here. You're going to see that solar farm, which is right here. If you zoom in on the solar farm, check this out. Going to go right in the center. Okay, look at the light saturation there. See the bright, overwhelming light even on Google Earth? That's the same light that I just showed you right there. So just for educational purposes, if you ever see that out the window of an airplane, if you're flying out here in the, in the desert southwest and you see a bright light somewhere between California and Las Vegas, just know that there's a large solar farm out in that region. And during the daytime hours, it can and will reflect very bright light. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.